I've used this illustration before, but I feel like there's somebody here that needs to get saved this morning. There's a man one time, uh, he, did, he didn't want to die, or he wanted to know when he's going to die. So he had this imaginary conversation with the death angel. And he said, death angel, please, please don't, don't let me just die unexpectedly. Give me some warning. Give me some warning. And, well, you can do that. And the death angel said, yeah, I'll warn you when it's your time to go. Well, time went on, time went on. He got older and older and older and older. Finally, one day, the death angel comes and said, all right, you ready to die? He said, wait a minute. This ain't fair. You told me you was going to warn me. You told me that I'd be warned before I died. And the death angel said, I did. He said, how? He said, every time you saw a gray hair in your head, that was me warning you. I'm coming. He said, every time one of your teeth went bad or a wrinkle got right here, that's me warning you I'm coming. Every time you got up in the morning and felt a little pain in your elbow or your knee, that's me saying, I'm coming. He said, I've been warning you for years. You wouldn't listen. People pray. Somebody in here needs this. It's the danger of intentional iniquity. There ain't no going back. There ain't no coming back. The Bible said death and hell at the end of this thing. The wages of sin is death. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Years ago, there was a man met a famous preacher in a motel, motel lobby. And this guy was preaching in town. He said, you're so-and-so, ain't you? He said, I sure am. He said, my brother used to talk about you all the time. He's a preacher. My brother's a preacher. And he used to tell us stuff about you all the time. And the preacher looked at the man and said, well, God bless you. I remember him. It sure is good to meet another fellow Christian. He said, nope, not a Christian. Not a Christian. He said, my brother had all the religion there was in his family. He said, but I heard him talk about you a lot. And the preacher looked at him and he said, now you know that you ain't going to have forever. You're going to die one of these days, don't you? He said, you sound just like him. Y'all say the same thing. And he said, I'll, I'll, I'll be seeing you soon. And took his wife and walked out the door. And nine days later, the preacher picked up the paper. And in the obituary common was that man's name. He had less than two weeks to live. Less than two weeks. He did down a dead end road, y'all. He went down the dead-end road. You say, well, Brother Danny, the drugs that I take are legal. They'll, it don't matter to the devil. They'll kill you just the same. Listen to this. Hello. My name is Drugs. I destroy homes, tear families apart. I'll take your children, and that's just a start. I'm more costly than diamonds more costly than gold. The sorrow I bring is a sight to behold. If you need me, remember I'm easily found. I live all around you, schools and in town. I live with the rich, I live with the poor. I live down the street or maybe next door. My power is awesome. Try me, you'll see. But if you do, remember, you'll never break free. Try me just once, I won't let you go. Try me twice, I'll own your soul. When I possess you, you'll steal and you'll lie. You'll do whatever you've got to do just to get high. Like lie to your family and tell them you're going somewhere when you really ain't. And always disappearing for a little while. And nobody don't know where you're at. God does. God does! You'll lie to your mother. You'll steal from your dad. When you see their tears, you'll be You'll be sad. The crimes you'll commit for my narcotic charms won't be worth the pleasure you feel in your arms. You'll forget your morals and how you was raised. I'll be your conscience. I'll teach you my ways. I take kids from parents and parents from kids. I turn people from God and separate friends. I'll take everything from you, your looks and your pride. I'll be with you always right by your side. 
you'll give up everything, your family, your home, your friends, your money, and then you'll be alone. I'll take and take until you have nothing to give. When I'm finished with you, you'll be lucky to live. If you try me, be warned. This is no game. If you give me the chance, I'll drive you insane. I'll ravish your body. I'll control your mind. I'll own you completely. Your soul will be mine. The nightmares I'll give you while lying in bed, the voices you'll hear from inside of your head, the sweats, the shakes, the visions you'll see. I want you to know these are all gifts from me. When it's too late, you'll know in your heart that you're mine and will not part. You'll regret that you tried me. They always do. But remember, you came to me, not I to you. You knew this would happen. Many times you were told, but you challenged my power and chose to be bold. You could have said no and just walked away. If you could live that day over, now what would you say? I'll be your master. You'll be my slave. I'll even go with you all the way to your grave. Now that you've met me, what will you do? Will you try me or not? It's all up to you. I can bring you more misery than words can tell. Come take my hand. I'll take you to hell.